Alright, so quick video. So quick about what I am uh, doing in Palm Springs. What I'm up to this weekend. But before any of that, a quick cookie review. Tate's Bake Shop. I bought these at the hotel gift shop. And they kind of suck. <laughs> They're too thin. Not that good. All right, next. Um, what brings me to Palm Springs is the Childish Gambino concert. About a month ago, I saw that he was putting up tickets. I bought them on pre-sale. They quickly sold out. And now here we are a month later. Um, decided it was in Palm Springs. Well, it's in Joshua Tree, but the closest airport is uh, Palm Springs. Flew out there this morning, thought I'd get in a day here of relax. I'd say relax somewhat. It's pretty hot. It's about 100 degrees all day. It's still about 90 something degrees outside, and the sun's pretty much on the other side of the mountains. It actually, supposed to stay like 90 degrees all night. I'm happy that this room has air conditioning. Get back to my room, and it's 68 degrees. Probably that's where like most of Bill goes. It's paying for AC. Um, nice place. Doesn't seem to be too busy. I thought it'd be boring people here, but I guess summer's too damn hot. All right. Okay. Back to what brought me to this area in the first place. Childish Gambino concert. I have tickets to the Friday show. That's tomorrow. Um. I've never seen him perform. I like his music. I like his acting. I've heard good things about his performance. It's supposed to be all new music, or it's hard to actually say because he's released very little information on what's going on. We just know it's in Joshua Tree. He built an app to sell his tickets. Um, the app has this in had. Talks about tribe and the, the unknown and some interesting stuff on it. And it's he is playing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Three different shows, or three shows. And I have tickets to tomorrow's one. And then, so, tomorrow, I'm sure I'll do a video on my way there. Possibly while I'm inside the venue, the campgrounds, walking around. Definitely, I'll probably do one after the fact, either when I get back to Colorado or later that day about how it went and my thoughts and what I feel like sharing. But I'm going to make some predictions. Because looking at the app and what some of what it says, but also reading through the terms and agreements that we all signed up for when we bought the ticket, I think that some certain things are gonna go happen. So you need the app on your phone and an ID to get into the venue. And what I think might happen is that he might have the ha app do something once people get to the venue or once the concert begins. Um, and what I think that might be is, well, it can be all types of things, but I think it'd be interesting and cool if his app turned off your camera and your video camera of your cell phone, maybe even disabled your phone completely so that people there are kind of like, forced to interact or go back to a time for before cell phones so it's kind of like a mystery you can't get pictures or video of the venue because presumably everyone would do that on their phones and those are all disabled because um, camera gear is prohibited all professional camera gear there's a lot there's some other things prohibited obviously drugs and alcohol um, there's like some concessions at the venue 
but when you're looking through the terms and agreements, when you watch Ticket, it pretty much says that he has all his bases covered where it's like, he can look at some of your information, he can um, provide that information. Even it says some stuff in there where it's like, these things are liable to change in the future, these terms you sign up for, and you're still liable to, he could add in there tomorrow night saying that he has can access all your phone's features and technically we agree to that when we bought the ticket. So he can do literally anything with her phone. Um, he can also, when we turned in our information to buy the ticket, we also agreed to let him look at all our different social media and presence under our names. So he might do something with like slideshows of people that are there, I don't know. Um, it's so hard to, it's kind of hard to predict because he can do so much. I think it'd be cool if he though, he disabled the phones or like the app, you could do certain things or like, um, and like showed a map of the place and like different things happening. Um, but it's a two hour concert, there's a late night one. I plan on camping out near the area, it should be pretty cool. From what I read on the internet, other people are excited as well. His only sh concert this, this weekend is the only concert he's putting on this year. It's going to be a big week for him because between this and then the show Atlanta um, comes out on Tuesday. And we'll see if an album drops after this as well. But it should be interesting. It should be a, a nice trip. Um, if I had like my laptop on me or a laptop on me, I would show you some of the stuff in the phone on in the app where the terms and agreements, I think that he might either do something to our phone or with our information based on just what he can do and what we said he could do, could do with when we signed up and bought our tickets. Right now I just have my phone on me so I can't do like a screenshot and do voiceovers while showing you and clicking through it. Um, I also think, part of why I think he might disable the cameras is because I know it's becoming more and more of a thing that people, that artists and musicians are getting upset about is people not being present and experiencing it. They're like videotaping it and sharing it with people that aren't there, which kind of takes away from them because it's, that's how they make most of their money is these concerts. And if you're sharing it, then the people are getting the same experience and don't have to be there. But also the fact that you're less present when you're trying to commoditize the experience, when you're like trying to show something and get something out of the experience instead of just being present and enjoying it. So we'll see. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Maybe when I'm up there, um, maybe it will disable my phone and I won't be able to talk to you till the next day. Um, maybe we'll all be abducted by uh, aliens or mole people from deep in the Earth's core. So maybe I won't be talking to you. You won't hear me ever again. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I guess for the rest of the night, I'll be chilling. Hotel room. I've been up since 1 a.m. California time. I gotta get up at 3 a.m. Colorado time to make my flight. So I'm exhausted, and it's only like 6.30 here. Like, I've kind of like taken two naps, not by choice, more of like I'm nodding off falling asleep. But since I woke up at 1 a.m., that's, no, I want to take a nap. So I might do that. Tomorrow I'm getting a rental car. We'll, might drive around for a while. Maybe I get some cool pictures. It's a desert around here. It's an interesting environment. All right, well, here I am signing off. Have a good evening, and I'll see you next time.